Today I got something very interesting. We are playing My Summer Car on Roblox. This is a game that only came out a couple of months ago, and it looks really, really interesting. If you've never played this game, let me give you a quick introduction. It's a survival game where you have to manage things like your hunger, your thirst, your boredom, stuff like that, while also working on your own project car. It's usually very realistic. You can modify your car, you can take the engine apart, stuff like that, while also trying to like build your own house, build your own world. It's survival meets vehicle simulation, like mixed together. That's the best way to put it. And I did play a game like this before called Mon Bazoo. I have a whole Let's Play on it. I didn't finish it, but you guys can check that out if you want to. Let's jump in and take a look at My Summer Car. This is going to be good. And here we are in My Summer Car. First thing we got to do is pick a starter car. I'm just going to go with orange. And there is multiplayer, but I found the multiplayer to be very, um, how do I put it? Glitchy, I guess. Now, usually we play this game in first person, so I'll start it off that way, but yeah, let's see. I haven't played my summer car. I've played Mon Bazoo, and I'm assuming this is quite similar. There's usually like a task list or something. Can I turn on this TV? That'd be cool. Yeah, let's take a look around here. Let's get into it. If you guys want to see a full Let's Play on this, let me know, because um, I don't know how deep this story goes, but who knows, maybe it's a full-on story. It already starts off quite different because uh, in, in Mon Bazoo, you actually have to like get your generator going so that you can have electricity, so that you could go on your computer. There's a lot of different stuff to do, but in this game, it doesn't look like we gotta worry about all of that right now. Here is our map. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's just turn on all the lights. What's in here, is this my garage? Oh, here's my car. Oh, okay. Fancy, fancy. All right, what are we doing? Um, let me open up the garage here, too. Okay, I can put everything together right now, it looks like. Let's turn on our light. Okay, yeah, let's let's do that. I guess I already have all the parts. Um, catalog. Oh, here's where I can buy more stuff, but it's a little bit... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Um, how do I get out of this menu now? Oh, this is, <laughs> this is the first of, I think, a few bugs. This game does definitely have some. I've got a bunch of main bearings that I don't need. Uh, how am I going to get out of this? Uh-oh. There we go. I got it. Nice. Okay, there's your technique. Anyways, we've got some stuff I don't need. I think I can just drop it, right? Somehow? Oh my god, I did it again! Ah! Get me out of this stupid menu! Now, let's get things going. We can actually pick things up like this, which is kind of funny. Um, let's see what we can do. If we can just throw this inside our car. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Seats. Okay, and I'll put seats in. Yes! There we go! Progress! I just realized my head was actually covering the, uh, the meters of all of our survival stuff, so I'll make it so you can see that, but, uh, yeah, let's get onto this. I'm actually really hyped to get this car working, then we'll go visit the towns and stuff like that. But for now, we- we need to put on this door, which, um, I'm not seeing the pop-up for it, so... Hmm, maybe if we pick up this door first. There we go. Now, I wonder what it's gonna take to put the engine together. It's probably gonna be quite a lot of, uh, work, but... Should definitely be worth it. Also, let's open this door, because we still gotta do the interior. We also have a bike here, which I think if we get too hungry, we'll just take the bike into town, just so that we can actually get food and everything. And it looks like we're in Finland, I suppose. That's interesting. Alright, let's see how much we can pick up at one time. Maybe this will just be faster. Um, okay, boot, okay, hood, yes, perfect. Steering columns. Okay, there is a lot here. I can see us definitely playing this game more. It is only a couple of months old, so probably uh, probably going to see a lot of updates and a lot of bug fixes, especially. All right, boot lid. Here we go. And the good old hood, which um, maybe I should wait to put the hood on because we got to put an engine in there first. Now, here is a lot of the engine pieces. There is a lot here. Okay, putting the engine together is going to be complicated. I'm assuming we're going to start by putting the block in. So, where is the block? This would be it. No oil plan. Cylinder head. Okay, that's going to be near the top. Head gasket, rocker cover, crankshaft. Okay, where is the engine block? That's what we need to start with, don't we? Oh, steering wheel. Nice. And radio. Okay, we do actually need to put that in for the interior. All right, let's put the radio in. Let's put the steering column in. And let's put the steering wheel in. It says stock steering wheel. So that means we can probably um, modify that as well. Cool. Okay, so we should probably do the engine now. I wonder if we are missing something. Let me check the catalog. And let's see here. Uh, cylinder heads, oil pan, engine plate. 
What the heck is an engine plate? I wonder if that is what we're looking for here. Um, let's get out of this menu. You know what? Let's just do the stuff we know right now because I'm still a little bit confused here. Wait, what is this? What the heck is this supposed to be? Doesn't actually have a name either. Interesting. Maybe we start with the cylinder head? I don't know. Let's see here. I, I'm assuming we have to put it onto this hoist, right? You know, without any sort of guide, I think we're doing pretty good so far. We just got to figure out how the game wants us to build this engine. Um, I wonder if it wants this first, oil pan. I'm, I'm assuming maybe it wants the oil pan first. It looks like it. I'm surprised that a game like this is on Roblox. I don't imagine a lot of people know what they're doing here. And without a proper tutorial, this could be pretty hard <laughs> to figure out. So luckily we've played a game like this before, but I'm going to run inside. And let's just see if we can find um, maybe some sort of notes or something important. Let's open up the fridge. We do get food, which is nice because we are going to get hungry later. Um, I should probably close that somehow, but I can't. We got a little pantry here as well. Okay, wonderful. All right, let's just keep looking around here. What's on this radio that we can do? Um, anything? This game does not hold your hand at all. It just says here is the game. You can figure it out. <laughs> that is ambitious for Roblox. Maybe we should just head into town. I think we should take a break from the whole car thing here and just kind of run into town um, and see what we can do. Um, there we go. Okay. Now then, let's go for a bit of a ride and uh, see. Okay, we've got a lot of farm equipment here too. We can probably chop down some trees, work on, uh, on that stuff, and we've got a van. Oh, an uncle. Hey, someone we can talk to. This is perfect. Okay. Hello? Help me, please? Do you have anything to say to me? <laughs> I don't think he's gonna say anything. Hello? Uncle? His van is just running non-stop, apparently. Okay. Alright, let's check out his house. I wonder if we can actually go in here. No. Okay. So what purpose does the uncle serve, then? Interesting. Well, let's go for a bit of a ride. I don't see uh, a, a gas meter, so I don't think this thing uses gas. Hopefully. But yeah, let's go for a bit of a ride and check this place out. This game really does remind me of Mon Bazoo a lot. Um, okay, which way do we want to go? I'm going to take a right. <laughs> I don't know where the heck we're going. Hopefully some city or town, but yeah. Oh, here we go. Someone else. Nice. Uh, Grandma. Okay. Let's go talk to Grandma. Can I? Hi, Grandma. Hello? Do you have anything to say? Your head is creepily following me, but I don't think you're going to tell me anything. How bizarre. Wow, I feel... This feels really weird, because even in Mon Bazoo, you can talk to people. In this game, nobody wants to talk to you. <laughs> that's, uh, that's interesting. Okay, I've been driving down this road for a while, and I actually do see another house. Which, I don't know why I keep stopping at these houses. I just really hope someone will talk to me. Um, oh, here's a guy. Alright, who are you? Leva. Oh, wait, I can talk to you. Oh, I can sell logs to this guy. Nice, okay, so there's how we make some money. That's good. So very similar to Mon Bazoo, we gotta sell a lot of wood to make money to buy more car parts, usually, so that you can race people, unlock new cars. So here we are inside of the town. Let's see what's going on here. We've got a gas station, which is really nice. That's super cool. Um, we've got what looks like a convenience store? Oh yeah. Pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you say? Deliver ads to mailboxes for cash. Okay. Wow, that is a... Oh, jeez, man. That is um, not a friendly face. Anywho, we got food here. We've got lots of different goods. I think all we need to... Buy sausages. How is that sausages? Okay. Ground coffee. Okay, we can buy coffee. Canisters. Nice, nice. I think I have not much money though, so we gotta be careful. Alright, what else is going on here? We've got a, a church, we've got, oh gee, some uh, gravestones. Okay, that's interesting. I can't lie to you, it does feel a little bit lonely <laughs> trying to, to play this game right now. The only interaction I had was with a guy who I couldn't even understand, so. I definitely would love to hear your thoughts on this game. Do you guys want to see more of this game? Do you want me to learn more about it? I can definitely do some research and figure out how to complete this game, maybe talk to the developers if you guys see potential in it. Let me know. I'm gonna head back to the car now and try to finish that engine because there's no engine block, so I'm having a hard time figuring out how to actually build the engine from the ground up if we don't have a bottom block. 
It's so weird how this game doesn't guide you through anything. I mean, it is a survival game, so it is kind of up to you to survive, but even just a basic tutorial of what I'm supposed to be doing would be nice. But yeah, anyways, here we are back at home, which is good. <laughs> it's comforting. Let's see if we can figure this out now. I might as well do the wheels at the moment, so let's just put those on. Okay, there we go. We got one more wheel to do. Nice. Okay, the only thing I can think now is the engine. Um... All right, that would be where the battery goes. So I can't put that in yet. I'm just gonna mess with some stuff, I think, for now and uh, see if we can figure this out. This almost looks like an engine block. Can I mount this here somehow? How the heck is this a head gasket, by the way? This is not a head gasket. This, this looks probably like an inline four-cylinder engine block. So if that is what I think it is, then I wonder if we can maybe do the oil pan or something? Um, let's see. Engine plate. I'm gonna buy this engine plate thing and see if this is what we're looking for. Okay, maybe the engine plate is the engine block? Um, doesn't look like it. No, this is definitely for a crankshaft. There's nothing on the top shelves either. Um, that's a camshaft, okay. These are the pistons, it's a four-cylinder. How the heck is this not the engine block? I'm so confused. Can I just drop this into the engine maybe and build it from there or... There. No, that's not correct. Oh, jeez. Just looking through here, there's nothing I can see that would be like an indicator of what we gotta start with. I can see people getting frustrated with this actually. Yeah, totally. It makes sense. Okay, what about air filter? Where can we just start? <laughs> That's all I'm looking for. We also are lacking in suspension components too. So I don't think we're gonna be able to get this thing running without the suspension. <laughs> this has to be the engine hoist, right? This has to be. Otherwise, what purpose would this car would this serve? Rocker cover. What in the heck is a rocker cover? You know what? Just for the heck of it, let me see what happens when I try to sit in this thing. Oh, I can push the car. That's interesting. Okay, so we can push the vehicle. Let me close the doors. Okay, we've got the car inside the garage near the engine hoist. This feels like what you're supposed to do. I could be completely wrong. This is what my intuition is telling me to do right now, and uh, now we need to figure out how to put this engine in here. Because there is no block, there is no way to really begin. <laughs> That's kind of the issue, but I did see this stuff on the ground. What is that? Okay, what happens if I try to put this in now? Get in there, you. Get in there! Dang it! Go! Come on! <laughs> what the heck? Okay, we've got engine block. Then we will put on camshaft. Please. Camshaft, there. <laughs> there is our engine. Ta-da! Well, guys, honestly, I am stuck. And I could definitely use your guys' help on the next video. So if you guys have some tips or anything that you can recommend, or, you know, even if the devs reach out or something, let me know. Because I'm definitely doing something wrong right here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more of my summer car, just let me know. But yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one.